Hi, yes. Hi, yes. Some people are uh, coming, so I am admitting. So now we can start. Bandar sir, Pooja ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. yes, Shelly ma'am. Voice is okay. clear? Yes, yes. Okay. A very good morning to all of you. I welcome you again. Hope you all are fine. Today, our topic of webinar is Japanese way of purposeful living. According to definition, a purposeful living is when you are moving towards a big goal in your life that aligns with your values, passions, and makes you happy. Today morning, I received a very beautiful quote of Dalai Lama. The planet doesn't need more successful people. The planet desperately needs more peacemakers, healers, storytellers, and lovers of all kind. So to realize true meaning of purposeful life, we have Dr. Pooja Rai Pradhan, a dedicated academician and leader. She is Chief Operating Officer of Excelsius Education Society, Thani. She is net qualified and did her post-graduation, MPhil and PhD from Delhi University. She has done many certification courses in human resource management, business communication and effective communication from Symbiosis. She has published many articles and research papers in repeated journal of philosophy. She has played superb role of resource person in various sessions like success and happiness, craft of making research papers, induction course of communication skills and research methodology. She has experience of about 16 years as an academician and a leader. Tremendous amount of work has been done under her able leadership, like adoption of village, under SEGI, establishment of strong industry institute, connect, designing of the strong mentorship programs, she has expertise in policy development, mentoring and training, counseling and career advice, observation and analysis, and change management. In 2019, she has done course on SEE, Social, Ethical, Emotional Learning, from joint program of Emory University, USA, and the Dalai Lama Foundation, and recently working on development of resource material for value education course. I welcome you, ma'am, on the behalf of Humanities and Applied Sciences Department and Value Education Cell of KCCE MSR. So, ma'am, uh, I request you to start your session. I am taking pause. OK. Uh, thank you, Shelly, ma'am, for such wonderful and kind words. Uh, I'm indeed, I feel humble to have received, uh, heard such beautiful words about me. But uh, yeah, everyone, uh, including me, is trying to find a purpose in their life. And that is all uh, the whole story of this uh, life is and of today's session. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, wonderful uh, audience. And I was also uh, one of the audience yesterday for the session, uh, which uh, was very well received, well uh, uh, presented by Professor Vanchina. And uh, this is the second part of the effort that has been taken by KC uh, uh, Basic Humanities Department and the t team. They have taken a wonderful effort by organizing the session, especially when the time uh, really needs it. Uh, the current situation, as you all know, we do not need to mention it again and again, is a difficult, is a crisis situation. And uh, these kind of sessions are more than welcome in uh, the times that we're facing right now. Okay. So uh, uh, I'll give you a very basic background of how we'll be going. I'm not a very avid uh, formal presenter in the sense I'll give you a lot of material and a uh, lot of things to read, but it's more of a dialogue. You know, uh, the more uh, you are very free to ask any questions at the end, the only thing, because it's a webinar and others might get disturbed, had it been a one-on-one -on -one, uh, physical setting, then uh, we would have been into a very good dialogue from the very start, because it is all about having your own dialogue and trying to rationalize, trying to really understand with a bigger sense of being in this universe. So uh, let's, without much delay, let's start the whole uh, dialogue about what is the purpose? The topic that we thought we'll talk about is purpose of life. Uh, the very basic question that comes, you know, when you, when you hear this word purpose, 
so we always think what is the purpose why do we find a purpose has there been purpose behind certain things or it just happens and how uh, how, how do i help out find myself a purpose because you know in uh, in our average lives we are so much busy morning to evening working like a machine you know uh, which which we are real- realizing now in the post covid period when we are into lockdown we understand how slow our uh, life has become how we are getting time for uh, introspection how we are getting time to be with people we love how we are uh, getting time to even uh, understand what uh, we want it audience i would request you to uh, please switch off your uh, microphones it's disturbing yeah so uh, what is the need shelly ma'am i would request you to request the audience to please switch yes, off their yes, yes, microphones there's okay. phone calls and yes, background yes, disturbance is coming yes. up a uh, very good morning to all of you again and it is my humble request to once again because it's a webinar so definitely it is creating disturbance it's my humble request please switch off your cameras as well as microphones and you can also mute your mobile phones because it will disturbance so definitely uh, i think you will agree with me yeah i'm at this continue yes so now coming to the basic question why a purpose is important why do we need a purpose is it that that i can lead a purpose less life or does giving a or having a purpose in life really give some uh, importance to my life so try thinking about it try thinking in your own way i will not give you a, a doctrine that this is to be followed try thinking it in your own way what if you don't have any purpose for today tomorrow for the years to come let's let's understand ourselves in this crisis situation see this is a situation everyone's facing someone is facing if you if you'll meet a lot of people someone is facing it very very uh, in an upfront mode yeah yeah it's okay lockdown head lockdown will get over when we'll get back to it someone you'll uh, meet who's more upfront you know and more positive no no i'm using this time really uh, in a very organized way to uh, uh, strategize my future move you know because this time comes back and uh, uh, this is a very value loaded time that i've got and i need to put more value in it so that once i'm back to my work once i'm back to my life regular life to my business i can use all this value that i'm adding right now and strategize for the future some people will meet they say are yaar kuch samajh nahi aa raha i'm just not clear what's happening what is going to be the future is the world coming to an end i am in utter despair and hope now see everyone all these people all these and more such categories of people are there everyone is not going to perish in this lockdown in this covid few will perish you know as they say the people who are having good immune system people who are more positive less stress so less immune uh, issues they are going to survive this and and we had a lot of pandemics if you see the history of the uh, civilization we had a lot of pandemics earlier uh, right from the great plague which is what so so dreaded and then we did, did not have such uh, advanced science and technology that time also people survived that time we had very beautiful survivors who gave us shakespeare who gave us such beautiful plays he wrote during the great uh, plague so many people are going to survive now majority are going to survive i would rather say so those people who have planned with a purpose for future will be the will be the people whom you will look up to okay this man this person this organization used that time positively they had a purpose they had a purpose that okay this is a temporary phase of life this lockdown is a temporary phase of life so once i open my organization once i open my business once i start going back to work when i once i start reworking my project let me let me utilize this time for the value that i have not been able to to add because much massive rat race morning to evening you know i've been running 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 travel family office body everything has taken toll on my mental state and now this is the time i need to plan myself this is the purpose and this is the purpose of a group b group and c group that defines your future someone will choose to be you know it's okay it's a very bad world pata nahi zinda rahenge nahi rahenge i don't know what is lockdown going to change the entire world someone is like no i need to strategize ye time dobara nahi milega and again i have to restart i have to revisit my things so i'm 
This is the difference. So this is the whole difference about having a purpose or not having a purpose. If you even see our ancient mythologies, everyone who came on this earth had a purpose. I'll connect you to a very recent uh, uh, serial that, was ha- that took place, uh, that, that was relayed on uh, Dur Dashan uh, during this lockdown was Ramayan. Most of us uh, would have seen Ramayan when we were very, uh, we were in school, I think. We didn't remember the exact details. We were so busy with our life. We did not get time to revisit those books again. We heard something from here and there and we made a concept. Again, we revisited this time. It, because of lockdown, it was forced. Many people saw that. Uh, TRP ratings was very high. Going. So that showed that many people took interest and they were listening to it. So uh, when you see all these things, you take examples of Mahabharat. You take examples of Ramayana. The whole purpose of Ram being born as a human being, they say, is to end the adharm that is happening on earth. Free the world from the demons. So every person who is born, every situation that happens has a purpose. Krishna came on earth. He, he took life as a human being. He had a purpose. He again wanted to establish the importance of dharm, righteousness. Dharm is the order. Dharm is the, uh, uh, dharm is the guiding principle that leads our life. That's making our life balance. See, everything is not happening with technology. Technology has come now. Uh, uh, police, army, ha- is, 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 these are developments of modern India. Life hamari bahut pehle se chali hai, right? So there was, a, there was a principle that controlled everything in the society. And that was dharma. So every, every person born on this earth, every human being born, this, born on this earth, every person to connect with some other person, every person belonging to an organization, has a purpose and purpose is something that will keep you going in the future so this is the importance of purpose now i'll tell you even you can see the importance of purpose in the current uh, current situation of covid uh, there's so many videos and so many lectures that have come up so many stories that are coming up you know that earth the nature is reclaiming its space you must have seen videos where in the city areas people are coming up uh, people are showing videos where lions have uh, come in the city area, leopards have come. Uh, uh, in Jodhpur, I, uh, I saw some videos where uh, the peacocks are really into the uh, uh, main city centers and all. So this is what they're showing, that this is, their, this is the nature reclaiming its space. They're showing us coexistence. So if you go beyond this uh, uh, regular technical aspect of a virus if you see the bigger picture you will understand there's a purpose behind it the nature wants to warn us to go slow the nature wants to warn us to do away with our excessive consumerism that we've done nature wants to tell us that this space this earth this earth doesn't belong to you only you are a cohabitant it also belongs to other organisms other species so respect their space at the same time, it is also telling you that, you know, uh, just wealth management is not some, everything. You need to be stronger from inside your physical body as well as your mental body to sustain such kind of disasters. And now why I chose uh, the Japanese purpose of life, I would not, that should not undermine that Indian philosophy is anyways lesser than that. I would rather tell you what all I read in the purpose of living of uh, the various texts and whether various scripts that I try to read on uh, the famous concept of Ikigai, which has become very, very famous. And there's a lot of tech talks also on that. I, uh, more and more, I realize that all these common underlying principles of a balance and a happy society exist in all ancient traditions, be it Indian philosophy, which is one of the ancient. You'll also find similar concepts in Greek philosophy. You'll find this across the globe. So any philosophy that is ancient and that has established itself for ages, which has survived the uh, modern uh, changes in time, has its own wisdom. The only thing we need to do today is to revisit those wisdoms and utilize it, use it in our modern life. That is what is expected. So purpose is nothing new. Purpose tabhi bhi tha, jab shayad, uh, when the first life came into this earth. There was a purpose why the life, was, life came into the earth. Purpose aaj bhi hai. The only thing we need to do is to find that purpose, right? 
so uh, now i'll tell you now let's come back to the, the basic buzzword again ikigai which uh, uh, i i'm sure you would have heard a lot of many times ki kya hai ikigai and uh, let me tell you more you will know these concepts the more, more you'll understand ki yes we knew this this existed in our philosophy this was there in our mythological tales we did not realize it but again when it comes to some from some other place hum usko zyada value dete hain for example if most of you are educators and even uh, students you will understand ki i might have a very good professor of suppose computer science in my department you know but you know i've been studying from the same professor for ages and i don't ab maza nahi aata i want something new the professor might invite another friend of him who might not be so good in uh, academic uh, platform as a Uh, professor himself but the moment you see a new person aapko life mein thoda excited hota ha ha bahut acha speaker aata so kya hota hai ki kai baar uh, the values that we already are living in the things that we've been hearing from uh, ages you know uh, our grandmothers told us stories we read uh, so many books so many moral science lectures uh, all these things were told but wahi wali baat ho jati ki okay ye to suni sunai baat hai kuch naya batao so this is nothing new it's the same thing being told from some other place in some other form but this trust me once you've heard all this you will understand that even indian philosophy has all these aspects so when we we talk about ikigai i'll connect this again with how we have the same concept parallel so ikigai is very basic it has a lot of meanings i'll take the most common is that people have been using in various platforms so iki is life and gai is value or worth for it so adding value or worth to your life is is okay the purpose of your being the thing that keeps you going the love for life this is all various definitions the reason of my life uh, the hope hope of my life looking forward to something this is all ikigai so you can explain ikigai in various ways so the value the worth the purpose which puts value or worth in my life is ikigai i'll tell you uh, our ancient philosophers understood ki without purpose there will be no order order in our society if you know even indian philosophy has much 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 earlier told you about the four purposes you have in your life dharm arth kaam and moksha and dharm being the most superior but everything has its own importance similarly ikigai also tells you importance about material pleasure it will tell you uh, importance about spiritual pleasure it will tell you importance about more the righteousness similarly it has been explained in the indian ancient philosophy about dharm arth kaam and moksha so dharm is the righteousness and it is been interpreted in two ways righteousness the orderness the ethics the morality and the other is dharma to the debt that you have towards other the debt to your parents the debt to your god who has given you this life and he is sustaining you the debt to your fellow being jo humanity hai aapke aas pass ki society hai unka jo debt hota hai debt to your guest debt to your guru so this is all kinds of so dharma has been explained in two ways one is righteousness ethics morality and other is the debt that you repay now once you understand this debt that you repay you will understand other concepts also you'll see all these concepts have come in the japanese wisdom of uh, ikigai that i'll be sharing with you so uh, the why i'm comparing it again and again with our ancient philosophy is just is just to bring to the point that all these things that you're re- reading now or what's trending in the world the topic of tech talks and so many discussions on happiness and value it all was there in our ancient wisdom uh, i i really appreciate uh, the effort that aict has taken to revisit human values because i very strongly with any knowledge any technical non technical any kind of knowledge medical knowledge without the basis of dharm without the basis of purpose without the basis of righteousness has no meaning i might be a very good engineer i might have a very good engineering skills but i do not know how to use it ethically i do not know how to put it to use of right people at the right time it's of no use so the more you grow in life the more you need to cement your base of righteousness cement your base of purpose seeming cement your base of morality so that is why so when we talk about ikigai it is love so now uh, i i'll i'll give an exercise to all of you after this session is over uh, don't just dispose it off as one of the other another session where we 
we thought we'll attend and, and every piece or something like that is done as certificate is given it should affect you in in thinking you know i i always try to understand as a person i'll tell you over the years i have grown i see myself changing every week i see myself changing every month every year over the years the only thing that i need to understand is i need to be aware of that change i need to be aware i i see myself you know 20 years down the line or 10 15 years down the line i was very impulsive uh, i had i had I, anger was there on my nose people would say but ask people who are uh around me these days they'll say you know for the for the last uh, so many years they'll say like, you know i have i haven't seen you getting angry you know you are not impulsive you are very cool headed so everyone changes you will also change you just need to be aware about those changes constantly need to take what is there in the environment and accordingly find your purpose now uh, the concept of ikigai let's come back to the concept of ikigai the concept of ikigai has some basic five six principles some people has put those five principles some people will elaborate it to 10 basic principles kisi ne saath mein uska fight up kiya hai but the whole concept is one and the same okay so if i if i if i uh, come to the very first basic concept there's some disturbance in the background please ensure all your microphones are switched off okay so now coming back to the first concept of ikigai the first concept is starting small mandar sir hello yes ma'am uh, uh, yes. voice yes, is audible yes yes audible so next audible. slide okay yeah so starting small okay so the next thing ikigai ke jo basic principles hain us pe let's start with the very ba- very basic and very uh, uh, important principle that is starting small So the next slide, please. Uh, base uh, starting small has says uh, that you have purpose in your life, but you don't need to have much bigger purpose. You know, ab aaj hi mere ye socha hai ki agle das saal baad, you know, I will uh, uh, I will do something really big for my country, but not for now. After five years, I'll see. I'll contribute something in a bigger way for the uh, for my organization. And uh, maybe after three years, I start taking care of my health, but not now. No, this is not done. You need to have purpose, and you need to have two kinds of purpose in your life: everyday purpose and a purpose of the lifetime or purpose of the longer time. Uh, I would request all the audience to please be aware, uh, to be conscious if you have and check your. Check your mic, please, audience. It's a request. Others are getting disturbed. many people are kindly uh, kindly check your microphones because it's disturbing for others yeah so uh, starting small is a very basic thing the first principle of the guy is starting small now starting small means you have two things to consider the purpose of every day and the purpose for a lifetime as i give you example you can say that after 10 years or our ones i am 50 i'll start taking care of health it doesn't happen so for every day you need to have a small purpose now this is a lockdown phase this is a time for which we used to script all of you working professionals i'm sure there would be some students also this is a time for which we used to script are yaar time nahi milta monday to friday school mein college mein office mein padhate nikal jata hai and saturday or sunday only we get sundays and that day you know we we are busy winding up our house our grocery we don't get time now this is a time for all the people who have complained in the past of not getting time to some extent very genuine if you have been still complaining for the last one month then you are missing the point Hello? somewhere yes shelly ma'am hello Vo- voice is not there hello mandar sir yes ma'am voice is there voice is there you continue you continue what is shelly acha shelly ma'am ne hello bola okay Yeah, so you can change the slide also to the sorry, yes. next one yeah so uh, so you need to go for a purpose so everyone now coming back i'm so sorry there's a lot of disturbance today audience please be uh, respectful towards others and please switch off your microphones it's an earnest request yeah so coming back to the purpose if you have been complaining in the past and you are still complaining for last one year uh, for one month then there's a problem with your purpose i know a lot of people 
who have actually made a plan for the lockdown i can tell you i can give you names of tens and hundreds of people who are looking forward okay who are speculating how the post lockdown phase would be what we need to strengthen what we need to upscale what we need to uh, uh, work on our organizational front on our personal front how i need to be more mentally physically fit to be mentally alert and to survive this pandemic so have a purpose for every day bhale wo purpose aapka ho to sit with your kids and you've not given it time for a year or maybe 6 months and you're too busy with your work you need to give time to them that should, that's also fine purpose if it makes you positive if it is keeping you hopeful for the future maybe for the researchers for the faculties uh, who want to academics uh, uh, ha- hardcore they want to write papers and they've not been getting time to write good quality papers this is a time it's it's a lockdown government doesn't allow you to go out so there's no distraction in the world uh, with the advent of technology everything is there on your laptops and your mobiles work so have a purpose whether it is writing a paper in a good journal whether it is upgrading yourself whether it is upskilling yourself whether it is taking care of your health whether it is making a big organization goal whether it is about a new startup that you plan to write uh, to uh, start whether it's something that you want to write whether you want to author a book or you just simply want to give some valuable time to your family which you've not been able to give so anything that gives you happiness and you look forward to becomes your purpose so have a purpose chart a purpose for every day by evening by day after tomorrow in a day or two evaluate it ki i had thought i'll do this was i able to do if not what was the reason was it a distraction or was it some technical issues that i did not get help what was it or it was just my demotivated mind that i did not do so evaluate on every day basis have a purpose for every day have a purpose for week have a purpose for month have a purpose for your life so no one says that you should have one purpose have a diverse purpose jitna diverse aapke life mein purpose hoga utne zyada chances hain of your sense of happiness sense of feeling worthful no one says see uh, people who have very short uh, uh, service span like athletes unka jo career span hota hai bahut kam hota hai they have lot of purpose you know ki once i am uh, done with my active playing the next thing that i would do is i will start an academy i'll start teaching i'll give back to society this is all purpose so you need to have a purpose for your life and when it comes to the bigger purpose you can always have a bigger purpose as a, a part of your organization as part of your society as part of the nation there's so many things that you can do and plan and trust me uh, the moment you plan and the moment you try achieving those purposes you will see that your life has started uh, taking a very nice uh, beautiful positive uh, shape and that is what see any person see how many times you would have told your kids if you are if you already having a child or if you are a student your parents would have told you kya hai koi aim nahi life mein kuch tumhare lakshy nahi hai tum kuch karna nahi chahte ho have some aim in your life this is what they want to tell you aapko hamesha wo material lagta hoga but it's not always material earlier days mein when there was no tv when there was no mobile i remember in our childhood for summer vacations we used to do uh, some embroidery we used to do some uh painting uh, attend a class or do on your own we used to do some gardening we used to uh, look forward to meeting our grandparents and stuff this was all purpose every day purpose because the whole idea was that summer vacation should not be purposeless okay when you're going to schools or colleges there's a lot of things they've given you but uh, when you have time still you need to have some purpose keep growing so this is the importance of purpose right next thing that uh, we we'll, the this is the first pillar the first pillar of ikigai was starting small don't plan big start with small 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 will add to the bigger plans have a bigger plan but for that bigger plan you need to, to take small steps but take very consistent small steps this will lead to even your bigger purposes if you're so planned and if you're so focused yeah so the first pillar of ikigai is start small the second important thing is releasing yourself this is very important what is releasing yourself releasing yourself from the social definition are you meaning i am be like this no 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 i am a doctor i can't behave like this i can't do this i have a image i can't move beyond that image i am a student i am supposed to do this this is your social that you you have entrusted upon yourself no one says 
there's no written thing that a teacher cannot dance or a teacher cannot learn zumba or a teacher cannot play golf or a teacher cannot sing no one says that a doctor cannot dance or a doctor cannot go and attend another session on uh, uh, mental health aisa kahi nahi likha hai ki a psychiatrist herself or himself will need uh, will not need a counseling session a teacher i will see a teachers a uh, sense of uh, uh, delivery is different you know i have been guiding people how do i need a guidance ye ye definition humne apne upar dala i can't learn from people i have been teaching people now this is the social definition that you have entrusted in yourself jo apne apne aap ko bandh rakha hai this is what is binding you release yourself from that release yourself from the false notions false social definitions that you make for yourself be like a child see the child has no worries of future and the child has no concerns of the past he he or she just lives in the present release yourself from social definitions live in the present the more you will live in the present the better you will have your purpose and the way of achieving it right in indian philosophy mein agar aap dekhe to they say release yourself from your ahankar from your atma chavi atma chavi is the same thing you know i have made my impression like that i have projected myself like this to the world now even if i want to change i'm not changing because i have already made a impression and people are taking it no give a new impression to people see if you if you have read uh, various philosophies be it buddhism be it indian philosophy be it confucianism be it uh, greek philosophy everywhere it says the only permanent thing in this world is change kuch aur permanent nahi hai change is the only permanent thing so change karte hi rehna to aapne पांच साल पहले अपना एक अलग इंप्रेशन बना था यू कैन ऑलवेज कम अप इन न्यू अवतार ओ आई हैव ओनली वन सारी हाउ डू आई वेयर अ शलवार कुर्ता ओ आई हैव नेवर ट्राइड बेस्ट इन व्हाट विल पीपल से नो इट्स नॉट पीपल्स इट्स कन इट्स योर लाइफ रिलीज योरसेल्फ फ्रॉम दोस फॉल्स इल्यूशंस सो द सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप ऑफ एक ही गाय इज रिलीजिंग योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट इज स्टार्टिंग स्मॉल हैव स्मॉल एंड बिग पर्पसेस इन लाइफ एंड द सेकंड इज रिलीजिंग योरसेल्फ so release yourself from your art from your ahankar you know i am a big person i can't go to his or her office or home i can't I, i will call my juniors i will not go to them no don't have any the more you tag such things the more you make yourself limited in every uh, philosophy there's a concept of god this is not a theistic session but i'm just telling because we all believe in a divine force chahe hum usko kisi naam se jane but we all believe in a divine force तो डिवाइन फोर्स के डेफिनेशन के लिए बहुत बेसिक सी चीज कही जाती है ही इज नॉट दिस ही इज नॉट दिस जिसको हम संस्कृत में नेति नेति कहते हैं गॉड इज नॉट दिस गॉड इज नॉट दिस वाई वी डिफाइन इम इन नेगेटिव इज बिकॉज कोई भी एट्रीब्यूट जब आप देते हो डिवाइन फोर्स पे तो आप उसको लिमिट करते हो सो गॉड इज ब्यूटिफुल मीन्स गॉड इज नॉट अगली सो दे से ही इज एट्रीब्यूट लेस सेम कॉन so now we are not god as human beings but what i'm trying to say ki apne mein jitna kam apne aap ko define karo jitna kam apne aap ko ek compartmentalize karke bandhne ki koshish karo utne free aap hoge be like a child release yourself release yourself out of your ahankar out of your atma chavi ki maine apni ek aisi chavi banayi hai change you have always a option god has given you all that capacity you can always adopt new look new skill whatever makes you happy and that can also be purpose of your life right now i'll move to the third important pillar of ikigai after releasing yourself what you need to do is starting small we've already done we have already released ourselves harmony and sustainability sir uh, mandal sir i would request if you could show the uh, slide to the audience yeah so the third important thing is harmony and sustainability now we are part of the society we are part of this whole universe we are part of a family we are part of an organization there needs to be harmony within ourselves with ourselves and other people with ourselves and the universe the ecology the environment so until and unless i am not in harmony until and unless i am not in peace with myself i am not at peace with my colleagues with my family with my people around and until and unless we all as a human human beings are not at peace with nature we will never be balanced we will achieve no purpose and harmony and sustainability if you believe if you understand they go very together 
harmonious sustainability is also a concept used in various philosophies so if you want to put it in your uh, own way suppose most of your students or faculty is here i assume uh, in your within your own departments within your own institutes you need to have a harmonious relation with other teams uh, the more uh, disharmony you will have it will affect your individual life it will affect your uh, uh, mental balance to achieve your purpose always harmony will give results and disharmony will give you negative results it's a known fact family mein jahan khushali rehti hai everyone looks good everyone is promising everyone is growing any society which has very good uh, any uh, institute or an organization which has very good teamwork jahan harmony hoti hai teams mein they are definitely growing leaps and bounds because it's all about managing the human talents that is what they say so we, i always tell this and i believe that you know organization is not made of muds and bricks and mortar it's made of people so how people are handling the whole uh, uh, the whole ecosystem how harmoniously they are together and how sustainable their models are sustainable their relations are that is going to define your life that is going to define your purpose so harmony and sustainability is the third most important pillar of ikigai or you can say uh, happiness of your life or you can say the value that you put in your life how you make your life valuable harmony ke liye ek bahut important cheez hai social sensitivity you have to be socially sensitive to your colleagues you have be uh, you have to be socially sensitive to the environment you have to be socially sensitive to everyone who's around you you just can't be insensitive right to other people's needs and requirements kai bar kya hota i have my own purpose he has his own purpose organization has a common purpose right but i need to be sensitive to my colleagues needs i need to be sensitive to my organization needs trust me when you're working in a team if any of your individual purposes are in conflict with the group purpose with the three team purpose then you need to self restrain yourself this is the basic purpose of the basic pillar or the basic concept of harmony and sustainability ki sabse pehle to aapki purpose aise honi chahiye ki your purpose should be aligned to others purpose aapka purpose aligned ho bakiyon ke purpose se aur sare aligned ho to the common purpose of the team of the or the society or the organization but if your uh, if your purpose is coming in conflict with others purpose then you need to practice self restraint that is a very basic thing and you need to understand you need to uh, uh, be conscious you why your uh, purpose is getting uh, in way to the collective purpose aap kabhi bhi dekh utha ke dekhenge whenever you will see any case study you will see that any person whose conflict came in way of collective conflict or group conflict always had a very very selfish motive so that doesn't work because the society because no one of us is an island right we are part of a forest where individually i'll grow but i need the entire forest to sustain i'll derive my energy from each other so you your purposes are good but your purposes are good till they do not come in in contrast or they do not threaten the collective purpose see you see so many uh, stories in history you will uh, if you have ever uh, known the stories of world war 1 or world war 2 or any war that came the war came because my someone's individual aspiration someone's individual purpose got uh, uh, was in contrast to the collective purpose and that person decided to go ahead with his personal uh, purpose in life you know so that that is a situation when there's all negativity there's war there's threat everything here also what happens if you if you understand this whole uh, concept in the sense of uh, covid situation our collective purpose as a humanity went as human beings went against the nature's purpose right we have been we know science we know technology i don't know what is truth what is wrong whether this is artificial or this is uh, natural man made but somewhere you know we forgot that line we thought that everything was ours and to claim everything on this earth is rightest to us and that is how such situations in life will come kabhi at times there will be teams which will oppose you at times it's nature which will oppose you and tell you to be in your limits so self restraint is very important for harmony in the society harmony in the family harmony in the organization so whenever we are talking about uh, uh, harmony do think about social sensitivity and self restraint as an important aspect right then when we talk about uh, uh, sustainability 
now sustainability is a uh, is a thing which is really very very close to my heart i think people who know me would have just uh, heard it so many times that i use this term uh, sustainability n number of times so uh, sustainability is very akin to harmony uh, when i talk about sustainability it's about coexistence it's about conflict resolution it's about uh, uh, having a uh, having a belief that goes for long having a belief that doesn't uh, get in way of other people's belief so if i we talk about the uh, japanese model they always say it's a very very sustainable model i'll give an example of a very famous temple they have that is called as a uh, shea temple okay that a concept where uh, the entire temple is made up of wood a particular kind of wood and the wood is uh, uh, the entire wood logs are cut in a very particular way it's a very skillful work because uh, the carpenters were involved in that they make the entire temple out of uh, without using even a single nail okay the entire logs have been placed so well and it is a very beautiful style of architecture and without using even single nail uh, they have made this temple now the rule for that is that uh, every 20 years they rebuild the temple so there are two sites for the temple site a site b abhi the temple is at site a after 20 years the same temple will be replicated at site b साइड बी पर रेप्लीकेट करने का दो तीन रीजन है वो दे टेल इट एक तो इट्स मेड ऑफ वुड सो द लाइफ विल नॉट बी सो लॉन्ग सो दे नो बिफोर इट फॉल्स एंड बिफोर इट स्टार्ट अफेक्टिंग द होल आर्किटेक्चर एंड बिफोर इट इंजर सम वन दे हैव मेड अस मॉडल ये सस्टेनेबल मॉडल है क्या है हर बीस साल के बाद हम इसको नया बनाएंगे और दो साइड्स उसके लिए फिक्स है द सेकेंड पर्पज एट ए अचीव आउट ऑफ इट इज दैट इट इज अ स्किल it's a very skillful work so they do not want that skill to be to vanish aap khud indian uh, uh, societies mein dekhiye there are so many beautiful skills that have vanished okay so this is their uh, model of sustaining that skill so har 20 saal ke baad jab wo model replicate hota hai you lot of skilled artisans uh, skilled carpenters who learn the skill so ye skill ki sustainability hoti hai टेम्पल की सस्टेनेबिलिटी होती है एंड दूसरा इस टेम्पल के ऊपर जितने लोग डिपेंडेंट है स्टोरी की हमको स्किल भी सस्टेन करना है कि आज वो जो स्किल है वो खत्म ना हो जाए प्लस ये टेम्पल वुड का बनता है तो इसको हर बीस साल बाद हम रीडिजाइन करेंगे उससे इसकी लाइफ भी बनी रहेगी and the whole temple complex sustains almost 5 600 families it is a small story of sustainability sustaining your skills sustaining your beliefs sustaining your values sustaining your structures so harmony and sustainability are another very very important aspects of ikigai very important pillar of ikigai uh, i don't know how many of you are aware of mars games that's uh, done in uh, north korea Mars games are mass drills of uh, gymnasts jahan uh, pe sa ek sath it's a huge crowd and bahut hi sundar synchronized tarike se they perform gymnastics you won't be even able to catch a slight discrepancy there now a mass drill is a example of harmonious relationship there would be 50 people performing one team all 50 in full synchronization all 50 have their own purpose of being there and there's also a collective purpose of that team right the collective purpose of the team is to go for olympics or to go for international performance and uh, uh, make a mark right individually there are supposed 50 people in a team they have individual purpose i might be there for some uh, repetition some recognition at international platform someone might be there for the money that uh, it fetches them someone might be there for a uh, a uh, government recognition like we have government jobs to people who come back uh, after who have displayed their merits at olympics or things so someone would be there just to sustain their families get a job i have the skill and i thought i can utilize it someone there would be just to get a high respect in uh, minds need money they don't need a job so we have 50 odd people performing for the same purpose but having their individual purposes as well but none of the individual purposes are coming in conflict with the general or the common purpose of the group this is example of harmony this is how
how we need to move ahead in organization. This is how we need to move ahead in family. This is how we need to move ahead in our society. So after we've done with harmony and uh, uh, sustainability, although there's a lot of stories in harmony and sustainability, if you try to remember this, n number. In, in fact, you can in, you can take examples from your family life, the, the, how there's a harmony. If harmony is there, because if you have your parents or your people, who are the senior members of the family, you will hear that you have to do a lot of things for your family. You have to forego a lot of your individual happiness for the sake of the larger good of the family. This is harmony. This is what they spoke about. This is what Ikigai guy speaks about. This always existed in our family. कि जहां कलेक्टिव गुड की बात हो रही है और अगर आपका इंडिविजुअल गुड या इंडिविजुअल पर्पस इज कमिंग इन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विद द कलेक्टिव पर्पस देन यू हैव टू फॉलो सेल्फ रिस्ट्रेन रिस्पेक्युलेट करिए इंट्रोस्पेक्ट करिए रिविजिट कीजिए अपने पर्पस को एंड ट्राई टू रीमोल्ड इट फॉर द विद टू बी इन हार्मनी विद द जनरल पर्पस बिकॉज सी वी आर सोशल ह्यूमन बींग्स वी आर सोशल बींग्स हम अकेले वी कॉन्ट एग्जिस्ट लोन so we need the society we need the family we need the group to exist to so group jab humko chahiye so we have to ensure that i make the existence of that group harmonious right now i'll move to the next uh, 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 pillar of uh, ikigai that is called as joy of little things now this is something very very basic in uh, the japanese society you know uh, they take happiness in uh, uh, there's a study i'm sure you all would have known that the, there are certain blue zones in this uh, uh, on this globe so blue zones mein japan ke kuch islands uh, italy sardinia then uh, there's one very small patch i think somewhere in us uh, then spain mein there's some area blue zones kehte hain jahan pe logon ki longevity life ki longevity sabse zyada payi gayi and they were healthy healthy longevity where you have examples of some uh, grandmother in japan 107 who still sings and dances in social activities so when they uh, did the study there's a lot of study on the blue zones of this world they understood these are some of the common things that i just spoke about having a purpose and harmony and sustainability releasing yourself this is also a very important concept of joy of little things where again you can uh, align it to your first uh, uh, thing uh, having a small purpose so it's not always that you know i end up buying a bmw that day i'll be happy the day i my package goes to 10 lakhs or 5 lakhs or 2 lakhs that day i'll be happy no that day also trust me will not be happy happiness is never dependent on something external and this is not a theory it's a practical thing try it. you will see you will see so many examples you know aap sabke ghar maids aati hongi there's at times i observe that some of the maids are so cheerful what do they earn They earn three or three thousand, two thousand rupees of, I don't know, something such odd uh, money from two three houses. So what they uh, get at the end of the uh, month would be some ten thousand, eight thousand, twelve thousand. I, I don't think beyond this. And they live in such uh, uh, places in their uh, slums. You, I, I'm sure we all have an idea, but still they're happy. And it's also not a fact that all rich people in this world are happy. so happiness is not dependent on anything external trust me it is a very false illusion that we make up out of our life it's a totally false illusion jahan hum sochte hain ki nahi meri khushi meri shaadi pe dependent hai meri khushi mere job pe dependent hai meri khushi mere salary pe dependent hai meri khushi mere bachcho ke performance pe dependent hai no it's not it is a false illusion that you have created for yourself your happiness is absolutely dependent on yourself see uh, if if it was dependent on anything once you have achieved that thing your happiness should stay forever but it doesn't happen i wanted to get married i was thinking of getting married to the perfect person i got married after some time i had some other purpose and i started looking for some other happiness the reason no no now i want a child okay once i had a child no i'm no more happy i want a bigger house no i'm no more happy i want a a a, a a good figure of salary because i i need to move world oh god i've been to europe i never went to us so life is the demands of life the expectations the aspirations are never ending they are very good you must enjoy your life but your happiness is not dependent on them have an explorative tendency jo bhi mila sab explore karenge we enrich ourselves as a person as a personality as a character but no my happiness cannot be dependent on that aur agar wo dependent hoti तो हर आदमी एक पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम में मेजॉरिटी आदमी खुश होके 
फॉर खुश रहता है ऐसा होता नहीं सो डोंट हैव सेंस ऑफ फॉल्स इल्यूशन ट्राई टू फाइंड हैप्पीनेस ऑफ द स्मॉल थिंग्स आल्सो इफ यू इफ यू ट्राइंग टू बेक अ ओके बी हैप्पी इफ यू बेक इट वेल इफ यू वर ट्राइंग टू रीड समथिंग एंड बी हैप्पी फॉर इट इट्स अ वेरी ट्रांजिएंट फीलिंग हैप्पीनेस इज नथिंग परमानेंट if it is dependent on external things it's not permanent and if it's inside you it's there so it's an attitude that you have it's an attitude that you have i can tell you so many people who have earned you know uh, uh, i i i personally know people who have earned 10 to 15 lakhs a month and now they've left everything because they knew that money was just a number and they are practicing farming in some hotels of himalaya so they they realized that happiness was not uh, having a house uh, in uh, new york happiness is not having uh, uh, huge dollars in your account happiness is not seeing your child gets uh, great it's okay happiness is something that lies here and ta- try finding out purpose try finding out happiness in every small and big thing don't be dependent ki jab wo hoga tabhi main khush hongi nahi if you bake the cake you've written a good piece of Uh, uh, right up. If you could, if your class went well today, you were very satisfied. Okay, I have given a very good lecture. My uh, child said, my student came out of the class and said, "Ma'am, it was fabulous." I'm happy. Right. So find joy of in little things. Jitna ab choti choti chizo mein khushi dekhoge, overall there will be more positivity in your in your life. This is the next important principle of ikigai: finding joy in little things. I hope the audience is with me, and it's not becoming too long and too lengthy. But anyways, we're coming to an end, and because I know these types of uh, monologues are not uh, very uh, well received always. The next important uh, feature, the next important pillar of Ikki Guy is being in the flow. Now, what is called as being in the flow? I'll tell you. There's a something called as teacher's flow. There's something called as a doctor's flow. So, what is that? When a doctor is operating on a patient. he's just there his all mind his all focus is on opening the body very meticulously and stitching the body back very meticulously doing away whatever problem was inside and he has worked to his satisfaction this is called as a doctor's flow since many of you are teachers here so teachers flow teachers flow is when i'm taking my lecture i was in the lecture i was nowhere else and i was constantly trying to work on how how i could improve this so try to achieve that kind of flow in your everyday life and in every work if i am cooking i need to be in that flow i don't want to cook and be on the phone i don't want to cook and talk to 10 other people and give directions to 10 other people no i don't want to cook and uh, think about my lectures tomorrow no it's not required be in the flow of being that gives you an immense sense, sense of satisfaction if you will see there are a lot of uh, examples uh, about the quality of products of japan so uh, they say and there there's lot of studies done on why japanese uh, products are so qualitatively superior so this is one reason that they give give to it ki our artisans ask ek to there's lot of importance given to skills there jo log ha- hand skills dikhate hain unki bahut special importance hai in japanese society uh, be it industry be it in any any sector so they always say that we always value people uh, who have skills and uh, in our society in our manufacturing system also there is a concept jahan hum unko batate hain ki you should move into that flow so if you're making some many very minute part, object part of a television the skill man is in that flow he is not thinking about anything else but just that and once you're in flow of that work you have a sense of happiness a sense of ikigai a sense of purpose aap hamesha dekhenge when you try to do 10 or things together you know you don't put value anywhere and somehow by the end of the day you have a very very uh, dissatisfied feeling okay ha bahut sara kaam kiya kar diya but you don't get that sense of happiness but if you've taken a very wonderful lecture because you gave very good time to it preparing and delivering it you were on the delivery when you were delivering you were not thinking about what's happening in your department how there's a lot of pending work going on or as a student when you attending the session uh, you're not into 10 other places what's happening on instagram and who's like my photos and who's like my posts when you are into the work there's a different sense of happiness that comes so you'll derive sense of worth sense of happiness from being in flow so try to be in flow of whatever you're doing 
it's a very very meditative state in uh, in uh, japanese uh, uh, system culture they call it a meditative state that you're meditating so when you're working on a thing and fully absorbed in it is very similar to a meditative state and it will definitely give you a lot of value to your life to your work and to your skills okay <clears throat> now uh, if you know there's also a concept of mindfulness mindfulness has come from uh, that uh, uh, what do you call it the buddhist concept actually if you see japan uh, has lot of influences be it buddhism be it uh, uh, hinduism be it uh, obviously uh, buddhism originated in india so that effect would be there be it confucianism uh, be it islam so it has taken the best of all and it's a very absorbing culture and similar as india we we are very diverse we are very absorbing culture so it is a very very absorbing culture so they have a concept of mindfulness being in the flow really and this is how they related to being uh, in the flow many people who would have done uh, practice meditation they also know mindful meditation now here they use mindfulness in the flow of the work so when you if you are preparing your lecture be mindful be in the flow if you are stitching something be there don't be here and don't be at ten other places so they give lot of importance to mindfulness and unka aisa kehna hai ki jitna zyada aap mindful ho ke koi kaam karte ho more sense of happiness the more sense of recognition achievement the worth comes in you so this is another and as you know happiness is dependent on us it's not dependent on something external so this is how they ask you to practice mindfulness and in your daily work mindfulness if you are meditating mindfulness if you are talking to someone or anything now coming back to uh, another one very basic concept that i'll, I'll tell you about japan they say that for ikigai uh, to be there there are two important uh, factors that's need, that's very important one is resilience and one is robustness why i tell you if you know the history of japan you will see that they had see ikigai never tells you uh, that you will not have problem you will have problems that's part of life har aadmi ko problem hua har nation ko problem hua the earth has its own share of problem which we are saying right now so humanity we overall problem aata hai individually aap aapke life mein problems aayengi ups and downs aayengi as a family you will have your own set of ups and downs that is the fact of life right but how resilient and how robust you are is very important and what ikigai helps you is dealing with those difficult times japanese had their own share of problem if you know they had a very 1923 mein a great kanto earthquake jisne almost lakh logon se upar died and exactly 20 years ke baad almost they had i think uh, this uh, the atom bomb the hero hiroshima nagasaki issue after world war during world war rather so again that time almost an equal number of people almost a lakh of people were killed instantly and there was so much of destruction that and you know you would have heard stories jo ki jo next generations unke baad mein agle 10 saal tak bhi jo paida hue they came up with some of the other genetic deformities such was the scale of devastation तो बीस बीस साल में उन्होंने बहुत बड़े बड़े एंड टू डेन दो सुनामीज एंड अदर थिंग्स छोटे बड़े बहुत सारे डेवेस्टेशन उन्होंने देखे बट स्टिल टू डे टू द वर्ल्ड जापान इज टेलिंग यू इक ही गाय द पर्पज ऑफ यू लाइफ हाउ टू बी हैप्पी हाउ टू बी हेल्थी हाउ टू बी हैव अ लॉन्जिविटी इन योर लाइफ सो दैट इज वेरी रिमार्केबल सो वेन यू आज एम दे टेल दैट टू थिंग्स प्रॉब्लम विल कम टू एवरी वन कोई आदमी नहीं है जिसके लाइफ में प्रॉब्लम नहीं आया है प्रॉब्लम विल कम टू एवरी how you come out of that problem is important iki guy helps you come out of the problem kyunki aapke life mein purpose hai and today is a problem but you see that purpose ahead to aapko us problem se ladne ki strength milti hai okay i have to reach there this is my purpose in life i will fight the situation right at the start what i told you there are different categories of people this pandemic is here i don't know whether i'm going to be alive or not why to think ahead dusra category hua ki theek hai pandemic ke baad mujhe kya karna hai मेरा ये पर्पस है मेरे इंडस्ट्री को इतना ग्रो करना मेरे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को इतना ग्रो करना मुझे इंडिविजुअली इतना ग्रो करना है लेट मी पुट माय वैल्यू इन दिस टाइम सो आज के डिफिकल्ट टाइम में भी अलग अलग लोग अलग तरीके से रिएक्ट कर रहे हैं दोज हैव पर्पस ऑफ द लॉन्ग टाइम लॉन्ग टर्म दे बिजी वर्किंग टू अचीव दैट पर्पस एंड दोज दे डोंट हैव देयर पेरिश इदर मेंटली और फिजिकली दे आर गोइंग टू पेरिश सो दिस इज द पावर ऑफ इकिगाई दिस इज द पावर ऑफ पर्पस इन योर लाइफ If you have purpose in your life, you will sustain difficult times. This is what Japan has told us. This is what they have shown to the world. That we had our own shares of problem and bigger 
not smaller, but much bigger problems, right? We had earthquakes, we have atom bombs, and that's the only country which faced this, you know. But today, we st stand as a standard of quality. Today, the world looks towards us for quality. Today, the world looks towards us how to be happy. Today, the world tries to find out ki what is it in the society that keeps them going. That even a one a zero seven years old woman says, ki, uh, I, I want to live more and I'm really enjoying my life. So this is what Japan tells you, resilience and robustness. Problems in your life, you are resilient resilient, how you bounce, bounce back, it's important, and how robust you are, it's equally important. And in dono cheezon ke saath, if you, your robustness and your resilience is fueled with a strong purpose in your life, you are, you have sustained all your issues, right? So, aisa kabhi, ye comparison kabhi nahi hona chahiye ki unki kam problem thi, meri kam problem thi. See, everyone has their own share of journey. Kisi ki journey humko pata hoti hai, kisi ki journey humko nahi pata hoti hai, right? We know someone's difficulties. For some people, we do not know what difficulties because they don't decide to share it, right? But everyone has their own share of problems and difficulties. And everyone reacts to it very differently. Right? See, so yesterday I, I heard the speaker brilliantly. She was trying to give you a difference between respond and react. This is what. How you choose to respond, how you choose to react to a situation is what will define you. Always understand that there are two things in life. Puri apne, puri life ko, you put it in two categories. Two type of things. One, which is under my control, one which I cannot control, right? So never think about things which you cannot control. Wo sirf aapko disappointment dega, wo sirf aapko, you know, uh, a feeling of weakness dega, a feeling of uh, worthlessness dega. Always focus on things which you can control. And always work for that. Because this is a very, very basic thing. Hum aadhi se zada zindagi aur aadhi se zada valuable time is seech pe waste karte hain. Aray, what will happen? You know, she did not do this. She spoke to me like this. That's her. I don't have control on her speech. I have control on my reaction. I can choose whether I need to react or I don't need to react. So always try to control what is, uh, always try to think about what is in your control. In your control is your reaction. You're choosing to react. In your control is your behavior. In your control is upgrading yourself, upskilling, upskilling yourself. In your control is how you uh, have a purpose in your life. In your control is how you deal with the society. Uh, in your control is overall things which emanates from you. But I cannot control how my boss speaks to me. I cannot control how my uh, how my colleague uh, decides about his life or her life. I even cannot control what my child you know wants to do ahead in life. So give people a sense of direction if they want, but do not try to. In, do not try to put your hopes or put your happiness in someone else. It will always lead you to disappointment. Isse jeevan ko hamesha do cheezo mein baate. Har problem ko do nazariya se dekhen. Kya ye mere control mein hai aur kya ye mere control mein nahi hai. Jo mere control mein nahi hai, usko divine powers ko chhod dene ka. Jo mere control mein hai, uspe act kare. This is how you're going to find value in your life. Because there's no point running after things which are not in my control. There's no value I can put in. To it. There's no purpose I can put in things I wish. You can wish a number of things. But rather than wishing, it's better you start putting purpose in things which are under your control. I think, ma'am, uh, Shelly, ma'am, are you there? Shelly, ma'am, Mandar, sir? Hi, yes, yes, uh, I think uh, it's, it's going too long. Uh, should we? In some time, I think uh, I would really appreciate if there's some questions and we can have a very open discussion. Uh, I'll give you one more story of a bluebird and we'll wind up. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do what do you suggest, Shelly, ma'am? Oh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can uh, you can share your story, ma'am. Yeah, it's a very small two minutes thing, yes. and uh, because I felt that it's exactly. getting too long, it's a monologue. Uh, so it's better if people have some questions or they want to just come in. We can uh, hear something. Yes, definitely. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Now, uh, coming back to the story of happiness. There's a bluebird uh, story, okay? Bluebird story, uh, it's a play, very famous play. So, usme, there, there are two brothers and sisters, by Trill and uh, T Trill, if I'm not wrong. 
so uh, they have heard a story that there is a blue bird of happiness go and get that bird so these brothers and sisters they start their journey they travel through lands they travel through water they travel through the entire country and they could not find the blue bird anywhere they keep on traveling and finally they come back thake hare disappointed they come back to home the moment they enter into their home they see the blue bird sitting on their sofa or a chair what does it signify do you understand audience it signifies that your happiness the same point which i said the happiness is not something external bahut aapko kahaniyan batayi jayengi bahut aapko false illusions honge ki mujhe ye mil jayega to i'll be happy mujhe ye mil jayega to i'll be happy no happiness is something which is very much inside now this uh, story of blue bird is a very very old fable to aaj ki nahi bahut bahut ancient fable hai japanese fable hai similar lines we will hear something in greek i have i've heard lot of such stories in indian uh, fables also so everyone all your seers all your uh, people who had knowledge in the real sense are trying to tell you the same thing that there's nothing called as a blue bird it it doesn't exist somewhere outside aap puri duniya ghoom le ultimately aapko blue bird jo hai wo aapke ghar ke andar matlab aapke andar milega so try to find out that blue bird of happiness within yourself try to find that blue bird of uh, purpose within yourself try to be in harmony with yourself with your environment with your uh, uh, people with your organization right try to be uh, uh, try to find out happiness in the small things yeah and uh, have purpose in life big and small last me summing up i'll tell you 10 points of uh, happiness uh, very for the modern people okay stay active don't retire even those who are elderly tum aapko lag raha hai are ab to ho gaya abhi kya karna hai nahi kuch nahi hota jab tak jeevan hota hai tab tak sab kuch chalta hai i can tell you examples of people at 70 75 uh, looking forward to some bigger plans in life that is ikigai that is the ikigai hamare yahan kaise bahut logon ko aap sunega are main to bhi 75 ka ho gaya abhi to main 70 ki ho gayi you know i don't have anything i, I no don't no don't retire retire to ultimately sabko hona hai is duniya se you have to retire why retire before that Stay active. Don't retire. I take it slow. The second point is take it slow. Don't run. Enjoy the journey. Don't always run for the destination. कि वहाँ पहुँचना है नहीं. Journey को enjoy कीजिए. Take it slow. Don't fill your अच्छा. The other physical aspect they say is don't fill your stomach uh, full. हमेशा Japanese concept भी है और अगर आपने हमारी yoga में भी पढ़ा होगा तो खाना हमेशा 80% ही अपने भूख का खाइए. कभी भी अपने पेट को पूरा मत भरिए. Right? surround yourself with great people and positive people it's it's a therapy community therapy hai na it's a therapy aap apne aas paas un logon ko rakhiye jinse milke jinse baat karke aapko acha lagta hai it's therapeutic you have smaller purpose get in shape till your next birthday apne agle birthday tak dekhiye shape mein aana is not something to look good it's just to feel active the what it is trying to say is ki physical activity bahut important hai for mental health तो की बचा गए कि ठीक है अगले बर्थडे तक मैं ये करूंगी मैं इतने योगा के स्टेप्स करेंगे हम इतने कार्डियोज करेंगे सो बिकॉज सी मेंटल हेल्थ इज डिपेंड इट इट्स बहुत डिपेंडेंट सो यू कांट से कि फिजिकली आई विल बी नॉट हेल्दी एंड मेंटली आई कैन बी वेरी हेल्दी इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल या स्माइल व्हेन यू सी पीपल स्माइल एट ईच अदर इट डजंट कॉस्ट यू एनीथिंग बट इट रियली मेक्स द एनवायरमेंट वेरी पॉजिटिव वी कनेक्ट विद नेचर दिस इज व्हाट आई टेल इट टू एवरीवन जब आपको टाइम मिले आपके पास छोटे गार्डन छोटे एक ही प्लांट है लगाइए टेक केयर ऑफ एंड व्हेनेवर यू गेट टाइम गो टू द जंगल्स गो टू द गार्डन टेक योर पीपल रीकनेक्टिंग विद नेचर इज रियली रियली वेरी डी स्ट्रेसिंग ओके हैव अ आइडिया ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड थैंक यू हमेशा करिए लोगों को अपनी सोसाइटी को अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को अपने टीम को और द ऑलमाइटी सी द प्रॉब्लम्स इन द वर्ल्ड थैंक गॉड फॉर बीइंग एट द राइट प्लेस एंड द राइट शे या एटीट्यूड ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड that is what it works live in the moment don't think for tomorrow don't regret for the past live in today agar aaj kya nahi rahoge to fir future mein past ke liye regret karte rahoge so be in today and follow your ikiga have a purpose thank you audience you were lovely and uh, very very patient i'm sure uh, we just had one or two minor disturbances otherwise it went uh, very good i hope the audience could uh, find sense in what i spoke because i'm not a very structured presenter in the sense i don't give you lot of lines to read i try to collate everything very relevant to the uh, current uh, time 
and uh, but one word i would definitely like to say uh, which i have already said at the start ki i really appreciate this uh, initiative of ai city and i would request every institute every organization to have their own uh, uh, human value clubs and organizations the corporates can also have their mindfulness sessions the human value clubs they can have their own uh, 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 you know uh, sessions for for these and they can dedicate people to follow these things uh, they can have uh, sessions for the ikigai and uh, we need it the world really needs uh, more and more of uh, ethical people uh, more and more people with positive purpose driven to make it more beautiful thank you uh pooja ma'am are you listening me yes yes ma'am please go ahead okay ma'am thank you so much madam uh thank you so much madam for your awesome talk and ikigai it means worth of life really it is need of time to understand purpose of life self realization harmony and sustainability you focused how we can enjoy little things how should we keep ourselves in flow and how can we come out from problems i hope the stock definitely will open new avenue of life uh, of indian purposeful life so i am focusing indian purposeful life i am also yeah. thankful to all my dear audience tomorrow session will start at 10:30 am have a nice day thank you so much to all of you and ma'am once again Yes, there is. Uh, there is no query, though no questions. No, it's fine. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. I checked. I checked because your session was very. Uh, I mean to say that very informative, and that was very simple, and everything was very uh, clear to understand. So there is no yes. any complexity, ma'am. So everything I'm was so uh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, uh, lovely audience. And uh, we uh, plan to come up with uh, various small sessions. Our uh, uh colleges kc college of engineering is really going to do a remarkable job and they'll be coming with more and more such sessions in the uh, uh coming time and we really need it thank you for your cooperation and being here thanks okay bye bye take care bye bye take care so we'll log out yes yes yes, yes.